Hey guys, it is Abby. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully this finds you doing well. Um, today I am going to do a review of some disposable vapes. Um, as most of you know, um, I do vape um, as well as smoke. Um, I typically will vape uh, during the day while I'm sitting at my desk for work um, just because it's a lot more convenient and I can continue to do it um, without making a mess I can do it indoors um, <clears throat> so for me it's a convenience thing plus I like the flavors too I will admit um, it's nice to change it up every now and then um, I uh, come to you today with the au naturel somewhat look it's the warm weather look actually i actually have my hair finally long enough to get into a short little ponytail um so you may see me like this from time to time um throughout the summer months um i do tend to pull it up especially when it's hot not that I'm complaining it's hot because you all know I hate the cold and snow. This is like my kind of weather, um, but I just have to dress appropriate for it, I guess. Um, so anyway, um, I will get into the different types of vapes that I've tried. Um, the young man at the smoke shop that I go to. Um, he vapes a lot and we got to talking one day and he started recommending all these different flavors and um, different brands to try. So I've been kind of experimenting a little bit outside of the ones that were my favorite, um, which were the um, air bars and we'll get to those. Um, but first um <clears throat> the most recent one that i tried and opened up was um breeze pro i don't know if you can see that it's pretty sleek i like the mouthpiece on it um so far with it i have not experienced any like leaking or kickback of the e-juice um which is good um because that can get kind of gross um the one that i got was cherry cola and i have to say this manufacturer was spot on with the flavor um if you like cherry coke this is it in a vape i am not even kidding you Um, it does give off a good cloud, obviously, if that's one of the things you enjoy about vaping is seeing a bigger cloud, it does give off a good cloud. Um, this particular brand has 2000 puffs in it, does not need charged, um, and the average cost that I found at our vape shop was $13.99 for this. Um, so not too bad, not too super expensive um, as some of the others, but it's really good. I like the cherry cola flavor. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, so that's the breeze. So the next one I found that they had just got in and I wanted to try um, <clears throat> was called the Elf Bar. Um, some of you may be familiar with this. Um, it is the Elf Bar BC 5000. Um, this one, the flavor I picked was pineapple coconut ice. It tastes just like a pina colada no joke um this is another one that the flavor is like spot on um so if you like pina coladas and you want to vape that flavor 
this is the one you want. It does give off a good cloud, smoke cloud. So if you like that, it's, you know, seeing that it's good for that. Um, it has 5,000 puffs in this little device here. It is disposable. The only downfall um, that I can see or that I can say that I really don't like is that it needs to be recharged. Um, so if you're puffing on this all day, um, by the end of the day, you need to charge it back up. Um, so in my opinion, I kind of think that defeats the purpose of it being disposable is it's not convenient. Although on the other hand, it does have a larger volume, um, with the 5,000 puffs. And this one is a little more pricey too. This one was $21.99 is what I paid for this one. And I'm not really super keen on the mouthpiece. It doesn't leak or anything like that, which is good. Um, but I don't know. I just think it has a weird shape. But it tastes good. So, you know, which is more important to you, I guess. And the next one he had me try because, as most of you know, I do like my minty flavors, which is why I um, smoke the menthols cigarettes, um, is an Escobar Pastel Cartel. Um, this one, the flavor I got is spearmint. I love it. It's a great spearmint flavor. Um, you don't really taste the tobacco in it. You don't really taste the tobacco in the other two too, too much. Um, this one gives a decent cloud as well. It's a little more sleek and, you know, hand holding friendly, I guess you'd say. Um, this one does not need recharged, which I again, like. Um, it does have 2,500 puffs and this one I paid $13.99 for so the price wasn't too bad. I guess it was pretty comparable to the Breeze um, vape pen, disposable vape. Um, the next one that I had is... Um, the air bar max um which i've smoked this one before in previous videos and i'll pop this one open um real quick for you guys maybe real quick i don't know there we go okay and this one has um 3, puffs in it um which is nice um And it does not need recharged, which again, I love. Um, this flavor is, it's the Air Bar Max. Um, this flavor is watermelon ice. And this is like one of my personal, personal favorites. Um, you get a good puff out of it. Um, the mouthpiece I like. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I said 2,000 or 3,000, but this one's 2,000. So if I said 3,000 to start with, I apologize. I was wrong. Um, it does not need recharged. It has this bright blue light at the bottom. Or white light um, which you know if you're smoking in the dark it's like a flashlight for crying out loud um, doesn't need recharge and this one ran $17.99 um, so it's a little more pricey but 
On the upside, I will say that it doesn't need recharged. It's a great flavor. On the downside, I will say that as you, with these, as you get towards the end of the pen, um, it does start to taste more like tobacco than the flavor. Um, and I have had experiences with these that they, um, they, you get a little bit every now and then it'll spittle, I guess you'd call it, I don't know, um, where the juice will come up. So as far as that goes, I suppose that's a downside to it. But the flavor is great. And they have really cool flavors. Like they have banana ice that tastes like um, banana nut bread. Um, they have a melon ice. This is watermelon ice. That's a really like cool soothing flavor. And then they have, oh, another one of these that is one of my favorites. And I'm not a huge lemon flavored stuff kind of guy, kind of person, girl. Yeah. Um, but the lemon shake one in the Air Bar Max is phenomenal. It just tastes like lemonade. It's really great. It's a cool, refreshing taste. So if you like lemonade, and give that one a try. Um, but watermelon ice is my favorite. Um, the next one I grabbed was a Mr. Fog Max Air. This puppy has, um, 3,000 pups in it. And it comes with a little, uh, lanyard so you can wrap it around your vape and carry it around your neck if you feel so inclined to do so. Um... The grape ice is one of my favorite flavors in this brand. Um, has 3,000 puffs. Does not need recharged, which again, I really like, as you I have mentioned already. Um, the cost for this one was $13.99. And any of the other vapes that I've um, tried so far... Uh, this is the only one that I have seen that has a little, like, dial on it. This little gold bar, and I'm sure you can see, like, the little air hole so you can adjust how much you get. Um, the little dial moves um, so you can adjust the airflow on it. And the mouthpiece is really great, too. Um, this keeps it from leaking any of the juice back up the the little spout there. But the grape ice is a really great flavor too. I do like this one. Um, so depending what you're in the mood for, depending what flavors you like, um, there are so many different ones out there. Um, I have yet to try them all. I've tried most of the uh, Mr. Fog Max Air ones that they carry in my local smoke shop. Um, I haven't really found a bad flavor that I liked yet or didn't like yet. And that gives off a pretty decent size cloud too. Um, the Air Bar Maxes, um, they have some really great flavors. I have not found a flavor that I didn't like in this one yet. Um, they even had one that was like uh, blueberry aloe, which was kind of, a, I thought, a weird combination. Like the aloe was really throwing me off. But when I tried it, um, I trusted the guy at the, my friend at the smoke shop, the guy that 
I always talk to and visit when I'm there. Um, he hasn't steered me in the wrong direction yet. Um, the blueberry aloe was pretty great, I will admit. Um, it had a very cooling sensation. I think the aloe gave it a cooling sensation. Um, so that was a good flavor too. Um, these are all, they all hit pretty smooth. Um, out of these five that I brought today, um, the Mr. Fog, I almost forgot to mention, um, was $19.99. So, you know, as far as the most bang for your buck, the Elf Bar at this point with the 5,000 puffs, um, but it is $21.99, so it is the most expensive too. Um, the least expensive one is the, um, the Breeze Pro, which was this one, and the Escobar, um, those were both came in at $13.99 a piece, and, um, this one was $2,000, and this one was $2,500 puffs. So a little more bang for your buck with the Escobar. Um, but either way, they're all great. It's just a matter of what you prefer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know when the next time I'll be vaping is, but that's my take on the disposable vapes and what I've been experimenting with. So I thought I would share it with you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we will see you guys real soon. Bye.